Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceable's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for our beautiful sign of Sagittarius. Now my dear friend Sagittarius, this is a general reading so please do take what ever does resonate with you and just leave the rest of it aside. That being said, this reading is a mid-September energy check. So we want to know what is going on with your partner. So I have two decks over here for your partner and we want to know what's going on with you. What's going on with your personal energy. To conclude, we are going to finish up with each party with two different oracle decks. One from Spirit, one from the Angels. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. As I am shuffling, I am going to mention that uh, if this is your first time here, a nice big welcome to you. You, if it has been many times also if you have not yet subscribed please do click onto that subscribe button please do click onto that like button also if you do enjoy this video or this channel um, also you can see us every night at 9 o'clock so 9 p.m. until 12 Eastern Standard Time we are here answering your questions so if ever you do have any questions whatsoever finances career um, love Come and see us. We will answer your questions. So here we go. We want to know for Sagittarius, what is this energy? What is the energy of Sagittarius for mid-September? What energy is going on for Sagittarius this mid-September? What is going on? Let's go and see. I am going to take six cards out. And then I'm going to take three of the other decks. So I have over here the Queen of Cups. I have the Lovers. I have Judgment in Reverse. I have the Page of Pentacles and I have the Eight of um, of Swords followed by the Magician. So what does this mean for your partner? Well, this is your partner here. So um, your partner kind of feels like they have lost. They've lost their touch. They've lost They've lost contact, is what I'm seeing. They've lost contact with um, with the relationship a little bit. I feel like right now we're into a really big period of questioning. What is good for me? What is good for this relationship? We're feeling lost. We're feeling like we're tied. We're tied up to something. We don't want to be tied up. We want to be loose. We want to be free. We want to be free of the burden. We just want to love you the way that you are and this is what your person would like to tell you is that they want to be loved and they want to love you exactly how as you are right now nothing more nothing more complex that is what they want this is about being afraid of casting judgment upon certain feelings certain ways that we are it's about wondering where is this future going? When we see the lover's card, the lover's is a definite questioning. It's a question of where is this relationship going? Is it good or is it bad? Let's go and ask. Let's go and ask Spears. Spears, please do give me some clarification. Give me some clarification on Sagittarius for the month of September. Please give me some Sagittarius um clarity please Sagittarius partner I need some clarity please spirit give me three clarities please do so we have the eight of wands into a, rever into a reverse position they do not want to go ten also they do not want to be hurt and they're trying to find a solution so quite frankly here this is what they are doing they are trying to find a solution to whatever it is happening within your relationship right now because they don't want it to end they don't want that decision over here of the lovers to be the end. They want it to continue. They want your love story to continue. Let's go see over here. But they have to get past. They have to get past through the pain. They've been hurt. They've been hurt. They have to get past through that pain. They have to see forward. They have to see through. And this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to see what is next, what can be created next what is going to be coming up let's go see angels please do give me one word of advice for the partner of Sagittarius please one word of advice for Sagittarius partner for this mid-September reading please angels give me this guidance what is coming up is that meditation is going to bring those answers so I feel as though your partner right now really needs this time of reflection needs a time to figure out what is best what is not um, it's really about looking deep down inside your soul to find out what you really want what you really need 
and it's about following your intuition. This is, of course, your partner, okay? It's about following his or hers intuition also. Your intuition never lies. Sometimes we don't really want to hear it. Sometimes we don't really want to agree with it. Um, but the intuition, it never, ever lies. So this is about listening to your intuition, listening to that deep voice, listening to that downloads from the angels, from the divine, giving you that necessary push, giving you that necessary guidance that is needed in order for you to find that answer to the problem that you're having right now into this relationship. Um, you know what? The message that I'm getting from Spirit here is about the sacred union. It's about honoring and treasuring your relationship because it truly is sacred and your relationship is you are anyways your partner. I'm going to go see your vibes right now, but your partner does love you. Your partner does cherish, cherish you. Your partner does want this relationship to work out. And this goes over here. Let's go and see what's going on with, with you now. So please, Spirit, give me some clarity. Give me some clarity upon Sagittarius. What is going on with our lovely Sagittarius over here in a relationship for this mid-September reading? What is going on with our friend Sagittarius for this reading? Please do give me that clarity, Spirit. Spirit, give me that message. Please give me that message, Spirit. What is going on? What is going on for Sagittarius in love for this mid-September read? Please do let me know. How does Sagittarius feel within this relationship? How does Sagittarius feel with this partner? Two flying cards. So what do we got here? For you, I feel like you've kind of passed. I feel like whatever's going on is not really stressing you right now. I feel like it's not really bothering you. Well, it is bothering you, but not to the extent of, you know, the image of this card here. What is this, what is this uh, not depicted, but depicted. I'm sorry. So what is depicted onto this card about having all that anxious feelings, all that stress, everything. We're not going to go all the way to that extent. This is about wanting new beginnings. It's about wanting that abundance. It's about wanting that love. It's about wanting to feel important. It's about wanting to hear the goodness that we want. We want to know that this relationship is going somewhere. We want to know that all the seeds and everything that you have planted is actually going to grow, is actually going to give you a relationship, a loving relationship for a long term. This is also about knowing that, you know what, nobody is leaving. You're not leaving. They're not leaving. Nobody is leaving anybody here. There is not that pain. We don't have to worry about that kind of theft. But this is truly about trying to get as much as we can. I feel like you're working really, really hard within this relationship. I feel like you're trying to nourish it as much as you can. And good for you for doing so. That does mean that you do love your partner. And your partner, I can say in return with a certainty that your partner does love you. This is really just really about, there's a question. There's something that needs to be figured out right now. Um, you're going to get to the bottom of this. There is no doubt about it. It is a, a conflict. You know, we all have these conflicts. We all have them every month. Ah, oh, we can even have them every week. Conflicts are part of relationships. So this is truly about just listening to the other partner. It's about finding that better place, doing that compromise. So Spirit, please do let me know. Please let me know for Sagittarius what the Sagittarius have to look out for. Please give me that clarity. Give me that clarity on how Sagittarius is feeling right now. Please give me that Sagittarius feeling for the mid-month of September. Sagittarius, you're feeling a little bit unloved. You're feeling like you're into the decisions. And it's kind of interesting because the card pulled out is the exact same as your partner. And when I say that, I'm saying it because I do have the lovers in a reverse posi position. But for you, in um, the difference with your partner is you are you're feeling like you're a little bit unloved. Your partner's not feeling this right now, but you are. You're kind of feeling like you're out into the cold. What you want is you want that passion back. You want that love back. You want your partner back. You want what was back again. This is about 
trying to do that. It's about trying to find and you know, you have a lot of cards that came out, two different decks completely and different same cards coming out, the lovers coming out, the eight of cups, here it is, the eight of grails. This is about not wanting to walk away. Neither one of you, they're in both reverse positions. Nobody wants to walk away from this relationship. Nobody. Not your energy, not your partner's energy. Please do remember this at all times. There is something to be done within this relationship. The love is still present. Please, spirit, give me some angelic messages here. Please let me know what do we have have to do? What does Sagittarius have to do right now? What is that one key word that we are looking for in order to make this relationship better? In order to repair this relationship, what can we do? Please do give me that one key word, angels. Please do so. This is about taking action. So it's really important for you right now. You need to start taking action. You need to start moving towards what you want. You need to start communicating. You need to start saying what is wrong, what is good, where are we going. You need to find that clarity. This is what your angels are asking from you. If we move over to Spirit with a Lover's Oracle, let's go see what the Spirit has to say for you. So please, Spirit, give me some, some news. Give me some information, please, for Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius looking out for? What should Sagittarius be looking out for? Please do let me know. Please tell me. What is Sagittarius looking out for? Please. What is that key word? What, is the, what are those key words that are coming for you here? This is about freedom. It's about how there is absolutely nothing that is stopping you. The path right now that you're on is clear if you want it to be. And that is so important. It is clear if you want it to be. Do you want this path to be clear? If so, we need to communicate with partner. We need to understand each other because the love is there. We both want the same thing. You are both living the exact same emotions. You both love each other. You both want to be together. You both want to find a solution. So what do you have to do? You have to communicate. You have to find that common path. This, my dear friends, does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that this resonated with you. Um, if you would like to join our live reading, please do so every night from 9 till midnight Eastern Standard Time. We have a live tarot reading where we answer your questions. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, please do click that subscribe button. If you do enjoy the channel, please do click that like button. And I wish you just the best of luck. I wish you much love, many blessings. I will be seeing you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you, my dear friend Sagittarius.